She knew about her mother, that she was supposed to go and bury her mother, but it was really hard to know that her two sisters also died and to know about this like just one time, burying them at one time, and uh, this is what a big shock for her. I would want to go through it instead of her because I don't think it's fair that she had to go through something like this, but there are some things like in this life that we're never going to be able to understand. But Allah has like a greater plan, obviously. Her sister and the rest of her family, her mother and her older sister, younger sister, will always be in my doors forever. And they'll always have a place in my heart because this, this, this has touched me. No, I'd be able to tell the story like she has. Um, and like, I'm going to continue this book. She's saying, uh, we used to live in Syria, dad died and mom left us. Uh, so this, uh, from Italy to Syria? From Italy to Syria. Okay guys, so right now we are here with no Yes guys, right now we are in a Palestinian refugee camp here in Lebanon and I just wanted to talk to you a bit about what's happening here. All of the people here are basically completely forgotten about. Guys, as you can see, we're just sanitizing here in the Palestinian camps in Beirut, in Saudi. Uh, and the situation is just crazy. Everyone's come to one house. There's more than 10 people in certain houses. There's little creatures walking on the floor. We're talking about COVID-19 around the world. Children, adults, elderly people that, you know, can get the virus straight away. Everyone just come together. It is not safe here. And we're just giving out masks. We're giving out gloves. We're giving out essentials to everyone around the neighborhood, inshallah, so they can benefit, at least stay safe from something. And they can't even get food, water. And these are basic essential necessities we're giving out thanks to your donations.